All right, so this wraps here, and we're going to do applications of sine and cosine. And so take a moment, you have to read this problem. It looks quite in-depth, but our survey starts at point A and travels for 200 kilometers at a bearing of 265 to point C. All right, so I have to think about my bearings. I'm going to pull a lot of information in here. So if this is point A, this is my point A, here's my my compass rose, and if this is point A, 265, I know, well, here's north, I go from here, so I go around, here is 270, I'm just shy of 270, so I'm going to go in this direction for 200 kilometers, and so it looks like I need to take my information and slide it over here a little bit, alright, and I might even extend my arrow, oh, Extend the arrow even further if I can. And so make this 200. And this is point C. And at point C, she turns to head at a bearing of 315. So again, I'm going to put on my north, south, east, west. This is 90, 180. Here's 270. So 315 is somewhere over here. So I start to head off in this direction. Oh, maybe if I use my colors, I can draw a straight line this direction. 315 degrees for 130. So I need to go for 130 to point B. So this is point B. Okay. And then finally, I end at point B. So I start at A and I end up at B. And this is 130. Draw a sketch of the situation. And then I want to calculate the distance from B to A. I need to calculate this distance. Well, if this is B, this is little b, this has got to be little a. And so I have angle A, angle B, and angle C. I have side A is 130. Side B is 200. Now, I do not know side C. That's what I'm looking for. I don't know any of the angles yet either. But I was given all these bearings, so I think I'm going to be have some success using the bearings to help me out. So I know all the way up to here is 265. I know it's 270 here. So in somewhere here is going to be 5 degrees. So that means this was 85, this part here, just this little part. And if I go down here, uh, then I know this top part here by parallel lines, this is going to be 85 degrees there. And then I went from north all the way around, I went 315. So if this is 315, all the way around is 315. Well, that means this angle here has to be 45, because 360 minus 315 is 45. So 360 minus the 315 is indeed 45. And so now angle C is going to be 45 plus the 85 is 130 is angle C. This is 130 degrees. Okay? And so what often happens when I start making these pictures, it ends up being a big giant mess. And so I often make the picture several times. And let me try it again down here. I mean, okay, so I know I'm going to have a value here, about there, something like this to here, and something like that to here. Okay? And I usually try and make this one relatively neat so I can see what is going on. I figured out that this was 130. This is 130 kilometers. And this is 200 kilometers. And this is 130. Okay, so in order to find little c, which is distance AB, I am going to use the cosine rule. The cosine rule says c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab, the cosine of c, which you'll be given on your test. And so now I just can say 130 squared plus the 200 squared minus 2 times 130 
200 cosine 130. Throw this in my calculator and let's see what we get for a value. Plus 200 squared minus 2 times 130 times 200 times the cosine of 130 gives me 90324 and then I'm going to take the square root of that value and I'm, then I'm going to actually store it into alpha it's C, I'll put alpha C and so C I know is 300.54 so to three skinning figures is 301 kilometers so the first scenario 301 kilometers this is 301 then it says standing at point B what is the bearing to point A so I want to know if I'm standing here what is the bearing this way so I need to get 90 plus some little value here in order to do it I need to get one of my angles and if I get this angle or this angle it will help me out the information I have looks like I can use find either of them. So let's just do angle B since I'm on this end. And so I can say the sine of B, which is unknown, over 200, sine B over B, is equal to the sine of 130 over 301. Now I'm not actually going to use 301, I'm going to use this 300.54. So sine of B multiply by 200 is 200 sine of 130 over 301 and let's get B so I am going to get 200 divided oh no times sine of 130 close parenthesis divide by I'm going to divide by alpha C alpha C and that gives me this value then go second sine of my answer. Oh, I missed the second sign. Second sign of this value gives me 30.6. So B is equal to 30.6. This is 30.6 is right in here. Is this value so this is 30.6 so to help me find this value well if I can get here is 45 from this alternate interior angles and so 45 plus 30.6 30.6 oh how would I do that properly 30.6 plus 45 is an angle at 75.6 over here. I know the whole angle is 90. So if I go 90, subtract this value, that will tell me this little angle in here, which I'll do in green. So this angle here is 14.4. And so I go down to 90 plus 14.4. So that's going to be 104.4 because it's 90 plus 14.4 is the bearing I have to travel to head back to A. And then finally, what is the area of triangle created by ABC? Well, I use my area formula that we figured out before. Area is equal to, if I have this angle here, I'm going to say half my included sides, 130 times 200 the sine of 130 degrees here and I just put this in my calculator times 130 times 200 gives me times the sine of 130 gives me a value of an area of 9960 kilometers squared this is to three significant figures. This always feels a little funny to me to round it off so much, but this is correct to three significant figures. So these problems, 
with apple sine and cosine and bearing, there's a lot of trigonometry in there that is really important to get used to.